Hi, everybody. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, this is Danelle with Twisted Gypsy. Um, I am just now getting rolling. I do not have, I have a brand new <laughs> microphone. So if you can't hear me, please let me know ASAP because um, I can't promise that it's working. So <laughs> um, I hope everybody is doing wonderful. We are on the you know, 12 days of Christmas, day number nine. I'm so excited because this is like my favorite day. All of the craft club stencils. The craft club stencils. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, craft club stencils are available today, today only, which is like the best part because if any of you are part of craft club, you know that we get those stencils. You get one and you know, you want more, you want to sell more, you want to make more products, you want to do all kinds of fun things and you can't order them. Or if you happen to miss a craft club that month or you have a new idea, you can't get them, right? So today's the day. You can get all of those craft club stencils. So um, jump on today while you can and grab those stencils. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Danelle Eccles. I am with Twisted Gypsy. That is my business name. Um, I am a founding member of Magnolia. I've been here with them since they started. Um, coming to you live today from East Texas. So, Texas, the weather is dreary and miserable, and I'm trying to focus. So, um, super excited that, you know, I, they've asked me to come on here and make something for you guys. So, to tell you a little bit about me, I am like a leather and lace kind of girl. I really like like the country type stuff, the farm girl type stuff. Um, I am more also like I am not so much a crafter as much as I am an artist. I like to call myself like a jack of all trades, master of nothing. Um, you know, so <laughs> I can do just about anything artistic, anything creative. However, I'm noticing my necklace is all weird. Um, however, everything that I do, um, never always comes out perfect, but I think that's what makes it unique. And I'm really not so great at going live. I do it often on my page and nine times out of 10, I screw something up. So this will be exciting to see how it turns out. I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to do today, what my plan is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go as long as everyone else has gone. And I tell you what, that last one. That's right up my alley. I absolutely adored her, her boards, her, you know, her surface that she worked on. How cool is that? Now I only caught a little bit of it because I was trying to get my microphones working and all that good stuff, but that's right up my alley. That's how I like to do things. I teach paint events. I teach acrylic painting. I am very artistic. So I like to work art into just about everything. And when I started with Magnolia, I wanted to find ways to incorporate their products into my artwork just to kind of give it a new dimension try something different go a little you know different ways and that's kind of what brought me to today so a lot of people are doing like a lot of the creators you're seeing are doing a lot of home decor home decor is fantastic i do a lot of it myself but i wanted to do something a little bit different because i like to make things like i'm thinking gifts right now it's gift time right so i like to make gifts i am a mother of four grandmother of five. Um, and so I, I appreciate handmade gifts. So that's what I like to do is handmade gifts. I don't know about you guys, but it's like huge to me. So I've kind of started making these super cool books and I'm going to show you. They're like leather and lace, slate and lace, leather, whatever. These super cool like books. They've got like a stamped look to them, which I thought was super cool. It took me a while to master it. Um, but once I did, I'm like, blown away by them so I will make them for like help so let's see I'll make them like journals um for myself I made one that is like a sketchbook because I'm an artist that's what I do so a sketchbook a painting book a painting journal all of these super different cool things and you know you find these um just average everyday books um, sometimes you go to like Ross or Burke's Outlet and you find their scrapbooks, but you might not like like the cover of them and you want to redo them, but it takes a lot of work. I like to make things as simple as possible. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, these are actually everything I pretty much am working with today. I got from Dollar Tree, so they're easy to find, easy and cheap. 
But basically, this book right here is a composition book. That's all that's underneath that is a composition book, okay? So I'm going to show you, like, when you open it up, I've got the lace around it. You untie it, take your little pin off, right? Open it up, and then inside is just, like, a nice little note journal. Nothing crazy, but it's got this beautiful leather cover on it. It makes it so personal and so so precious for anyone. I like to give gifts. Um, and this one, if you notice, is the Magnolia Design Co. one. So some of my new team members, when they meet, like, a certain goal or whatever, this is a gift I like to give them. This is something like Find Your Passion. This is, I use the little minis on these little tiny ones, which I don't know if I have any out here. But the little tiny composition books, you get like three or four in a pack from um, Dollar Tree. So I'll make a bunch of these just with this. And then I'll give them, these are great ideas for like stocking stuffers or for your older kids or, you know, that daughter-in-law or that mother-in-law or, you know, just little things like that. They're super cool. Or they're good gifts for like your, um, your coworkers. Super easy. Okay. Um, so that's super cool. And some of those, like we, we have some minis, like those little, um, they're not really minis. What does it say? Land of Liberty or whatever. Some of those ones that you can buy today, those are super good for, you know, the 4th of July or Memorial Day when they come out. You can kind of give, you know, sometimes you just give little gifts and these are nice to have around. So and I'm going to tell you the, the leather. And I know everybody's wondering, where do you find this? This is like a suede. Okay. So this suede, I actually pick up at Hobby Lobby. Now, I know it can get expensive. So if you go down the leather aisle, the leather crafting aisle, they have rolls of suede and stuff. It's like 70 bucks for this huge roll. I don't want to spend that much. But guess what? If you go down there, there's like a bag. It's like a three-pound bag of scraps. And that's what I buy. I got three colors. I got this tan color, um, this one, this gray color, and then I got the black. Um, in a huge three pound bag and I have enough to probably make probably 30 different books out of it. I mean, there's a lot of, um, scrap pieces in there and it's only $11.99. $11.99. You can make so much, so much with it. So it's a great gift idea. And then you just go hop on over to Dollar Tree and grab you some of these, you know, um, composition books or even like day planners. This would be really cute over a day planner. Yeah. How cool, right? So super simple. They've got some great ideas and great things that you can grab there. But, I mean, I guess I'll quit talking to you and maybe start working. I'm actually going to use this Grateful for Today stencil available today, guys. Today only. So jump on and get it. Jump on and get it. So um, this one, I actually, so normally you could buy a bigger book and it could probably fit a little bit better. But I'm actually going to turn this one sideways like this. And I thought, because I have this flap on this one, I would do the flap. And then either on, I haven't quite decided, either on the inside or the outside, I'll put that bottom end every day. So, like, they could maybe open it up like this and have that end every day there. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know. Maybe you guys have some ideas. But um, for those who have followed me and follow my lives, know that things change with my lives. I change my ideas often. And it's kind of a building process. I try not to make too many things in advance. And I have a tendency to kind of screw up. So it will be interesting to see what happens. Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to kind of get started and show you guys how we do this. So I have this scrap piece, right? Right here, this scrap piece. It's And you have to kind of be careful with these scrap pieces because sometimes there will be like some holes or some spots in it. And I actually really wanted to do the tan color because that's kind of the color I wanted. But the scrap pieces that they sent me, they've got a lot of holes in them, so I can only make the small ones. And I really wanted to use this stencil, so we're doing gray. Okay, so we have this gray piece of suede picked up from that bag, $11.99 at Hobby Lobby. That'll make about 30 books, okay? And then I am going to basically trace this out so that it fits. Now, I kind of cut it down because they come almost in yard sizes. Um, but I did kind of cut it down a little bit. And you want to make sure that, you know, you have a pen handy. I'm going to have to use one of my gifting pens that I had out here. Oh, maybe I got one right here. Okay. 
Sorry, guys. I need my coffee. I drink iced coffee. I don't know what you guys drink. But, so basically, I just trace it. I find a pen, a pencil, whatever it is, and I trace the one side all the way around, okay, like this. And if you can't see, please say something. I'm trying to keep up with all the comments, but I'm not going to lie. I'm old, and I can't see very well unless I have my glasses on, and that's a lot of up and down work for me, and I have to work off my phone today. So forgive me. Unfortunately, my iPad is not working well. All right, so we trace the outside of this. And now all I'm going to do is actually physically not move it, but I'm going to pick it up and roll it like this. Okay, just like that. Pick it up and roll it. Move things aside here. And we're going to trace this side. Just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I want to make sure I have lots left over so that I can flip this side over. Okay. You are not old. Jennifer says I'm not old. She knows. She knows. Melissa gets me. She gets me. Look at that. I cannot see anymore, y'all. I am getting old. I don't care what anybody says. Um, when you have five grandkids and four children, I feel like we're past that point of not being old anymore. So anyway, so we have that extra flap, right? Now I'm, here's the tricky part. So I've outlined all of that, right? Now I want to kind of push it over and I want to give it, you know, I don't know how to measure. Like when I teach my paint classes, I measure with my fingers. So like your first little knuckle is like an inch. So we're going to go like maybe two and a half inches. So I'll just use my finger, kind of come over and figure out just how far I want that to go, about two and a half inches. And then I'm going to push this over again. And we're going to outline just that area to extend it. That makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. I teach paint classes. I don't teach crafting classes often. Okay. So here's kind of what it looks like so far. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's just an outline, right? And so we have our suede kind of marked out. I'm going to tell you, the Magnolia Design Company stencil or scissors are probably the best scissors you'll ever get your hands on. Um, I have bought three pairs, and one pair has come up missing, so I'm going to be buying another because I use it for everything. Um, I have one pair that I actually use for like cutting like floral wire, which you're not supposed to do with scissors. I know. Don't come at me, but it is what it is. And she loves those scissors. Yes, they're the best scissors ever. So all you're going to do is cut it out and don't cut it out from your first line. Cut it out from this outside line. Okay. Cut it out from the outside line. And we're just going to cut around that. And it doesn't take much. I mean, this is a super simple, easy project. Um, a giftable project is what I like to call it. But I also do this, like I said, I do this like with my own stuff, like with my crafting stuff. Um, I am Twisted Gypsy for a reason. I am very like leather and lace, very, you know, antique kind of vintage, shabby chic type person, I guess. I mean, I'm going to let you all in a little secret. And I know that I have a daughter watching right now, and she's probably going to laugh when I say this, but... I've been married 20 years, okay? We're going on 21 years. Guess what I got married in? Leather pants. Leather pants. That's how much leather and lace I am, and I've been that way my whole life. It's never changed. I'm a fleet with that girl, you know? It's just how it is. So everything that I do kind of gravitates towards, towards that design style, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we're just cutting it out. Try not to bore you too much with conversation, but it's kind of weird talking to a camera. I know you're all there, but I can't see you. All right. Okay. So we're almost there. I'm cutting out this other side. And then basically we're going to work with just a couple more things that you might not have on hand. But if you're a crafty person, you probably do. Or if you're an artsy person. The only thing I can think of that would be a little bit more um, unusual for someone to have is rather than using paste or ink um, that Magnolia sells, we're going to use what's called um, gel gloss. Now, I have done these with ink. And let me tell you what, ink comes out fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. But I am a sucker for this stamped look, okay? And it feels stamped. 
And there's only one way to get that without actually stamping it. So the only way to do that is to use this product. It's called gel gloss. Now I got this from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It can be somewhat expensive, but it goes a very, very long way. So if you don't have this, get this. But if you don't have this, you can do this exact same process, everything we're doing, and just use the Magnolia ink. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It works, okay? So, all right, so we have this cut out, and now it's probably the hardest part is lining it all up, maybe. Gel gloss. Yes, gel gloss. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. So you start out basically by, I screwed up when I made this little one, which is why it is still in my possession and not given away because I put the book in here in the stencil on and I put it upside down. I told you I screw up often. Master of all trades, or what is that? Jack of all trades, master of none. That's not a lie. That's actually me. That really is. So we are going to basically make sure it's in there right. And then you can use Mod Podge. My favorite stuff on earth. And you want to use a decent brush. Big size, but nothing worth like keeping. Like if you know me, Mod Podge, when you go to clean it out, it's kind of rough to clean out. So I usually just throw it away when I'm done. And you kind of want to work a little bit quicker with this. So I just basically take this and I Mod Podge the front of the book heavily, but quickly. Okay. Because Mod Podge does dry pretty fast. And we don't want it to necessarily dry up before we're ready to attach it to our suede or leather, whatever you're using. I am going to tell you that if you do this process the exact same way, um, using the gel gloss with the fake leather, you're not going to be happy. Okay. It does not work. You have to, if you're using gel gloss, you have to use a real leather. Go to Hobby Lobby, get that scrap stuff that I'm telling you about, that bag of scraps for $11.99. Do that. Okay. So once you get that with your Mod Podge on it, then you're just going to kind of lay it out and you want to do your best to fit it perfect. Now you can kind of move it around. The best part about leather or suede is you can kind of just pull it up and force it kind of, it'll kind of move a little bit. It's not like paper. You want to make sure you get it all the way to the ends. And then press it down. And I like to just kind of sit here for a second and make sure it attaches really well. Oh. You've never seen this before, Jen. You know, I can tell you that I absolutely adore our creative community. There are so many cool ideas that come across the Magnolia page, the creators page. If you are a member or if you're not a member and you're considering being a member, I can tell you this much. There are so many cool ideas. There are so many amazing creators that it'll just blow your mind. The ideas that people come up with is just fantastic. Like, I could never match. I could never compete with some of them. Ever, 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 ever. Okay, so once you get that side done, now you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now, I make sure to do a real good bunch right here um, in the binding of the book. Just because I want it to sit tight. I want it to be tight. I don't want it to be falling off. I make sure to get all the way to the edges of my book. Okay? All the way. So, Crystal says she loves the community. She is correct. So, I'm going to tell you, the creative community here is so supportive. Like, I might not be able to compete with some of these ideas, but everybody is really eager to share how they came up with the processes. And because we are all pretty much from different areas, there's no competition here. There's not like, you know, sometimes you always feel like you're in competition with other creative people. It's not like that. Magnolia is not like that. It's a very supportive community. Okay, so then we got that done, right? Now we're going to fold it over and we're going to push it and pull. Keep it nice and tight. You want to make sure it's nice and tight on that book and just pull it all the way over. Again, we're just going to push it all the way down. She loves making books. Me too. Me too. I think books are awesome. Now, have you guys seen the art journals like that people do now? Like I've started one. I'm not willing to share it, but I've started one. You go to, you buy like a used book, garage sale, Goodwill. And then you redo the cover and then you do all your like your paintings and your drawings on top of the already like 
typed out pages. So cool. So pretty. When they're all done, man, fantastic. I just love it. Okay, so that's pretty much set. Like I said, Mod Podge doesn't take long. And leather is a great adhesive for that. So now we have, this is where we're at, right? This is it. You got your little flap kind of already in place, your cover. Now here's where I'm going to go through and I'm going to do just a little bit of like trimming up. So if I might have some excess on the side that I don't like, I just take my scissors or you can use an X-Acto knife. Um, another good one is a rolling, I don't think I have it here, but like a fabric, fabric cutter works really, really well. Um, so I just kind of take my scissors because Magnolia Design Company does put out the best scissors I've ever used and kind of just go around and trim up the sides just a little bit. My nose is running, y'all. I'm telling you what. East Texas is full of them. Um, it's allergy season around here because the weather won't decide if it wants to be warm or cold. Okay, so I've trimmed up a little bit there, kind of like the bottom. I'm okay with that. It looks good. It fits good. Everything looks great. Um, so another thing that you can possibly do, which I'm realizing I didn't grab, but it's okay. Sometimes, so I also make like hats. I don't know if you guys have seen my page um, or if you've maybe even seen it on the Magnolia Design Company page, but I will do like the felt hats and I'll use the Magnolia Design Company products with that. Um, and to seal some of that, you kind of want to take like a lighter or a heater or something. And normally I have a stick lighter. I also have a house full of people that like to steal my stuff. So there's a really great chance that the stick lighter is gone. But you know what I'm talking about, the kind that you start your barbecue pit with or your fire. I will take that right here the way it is, and I'll just kind of go around the edges. And all it does is kind of clean up the, the sides a little bit, might darken it a little bit to make it look much more natural. And I may do it before it's over, get up and walk away and go grab it. But I have another one. I just don't want to do that. But anyways, you can do that. And I know that what you're thinking, I know exactly what you're thinking because there's already paper I'm taking a risk on starting a fire. So I, I'm a risky girl. I do it, but you might want to do it over your sink just in case, but <laughs> you can. And I just take that flame and I just kind of go around the sides to clean up the edges and make it look a little nicer. I might do that when we're all said and done, but because I forgot to grab it, whatever. All right, so now we are going to add the stencil. And like I said, I'm doing this one available today. Grateful for today. Is that what it's called? It's called the Grateful. It's eight and a half by 11 available today, today. Okay, get it, get it. I love this design. Um, we're going to use this stencil on the front. And all I'm going to do is open it up. This is brand spanking new. And I know you're wondering. I know you're wondering, how do I have a brand spanking new stencil already? I never did my craft club that month. Guilty. Very guilty. Okay. So, burning the house down, guys. <laughs> I have no fear when it comes to stuff like that. But it's just a little flame. And unless you sit there and hold it for a really long time, it's not going to catch on fire. So, Anyways, we're just going to kind of cut right here where that line is. You can see that line for those of you who are unfamiliar with how these products work. If you're new to Magnolia, if you are new to Magnolia, I would love to know. So, you know, comment or you're not supposed to say that word when you're live. But, you know, say something, type something in that little bar down there and let us know if you're new to Magnolia. I would love to know how many newbies we have in our crowd here today. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it would fit. So now I have this part right here. All we are going to do is peel it off. Now, normally they suggest that you um, fuzz your stencil. Um, and we do have, you know, our cloth that they sell or whatever. Normally I would probably do that. But using gel gloss is not like using paste or ink. It's a totally do, it's a totally different product. Um, I found that it actually works better if I don't fuzz it first. Plus, we're going on, you know, a fabric type surface, so it should be okay. Um, and I'm just going to line it up however I want it. And I'm going to tell y'all, I see everything crooked. 
no secret there. I just do. I see everything crooked. So there ain't no telling if it's going to come out straight or not. Always find out the hard way. And we just lay it down, flatten it out, get all of those, you know, bubbles out. You want it, all the bubbles out. And I did just kind of pull this over to make sure that when it's closed, you can still read it where it says grateful for today. Okay. So flatten it out, get all those bubbles out. And now we are going to use the gel gloss. Now gel gloss comes out when you put it on there. It's really hard to tell if it's actually on there because it's just a different product. I can't really explain it, but it does give it that stamp look. And actually when you run your hand across the top of this, like it feels almost like it's been burnt in. That's just how cool it is. And we actually do take a heat gun to it. So, you know, maybe it does burn it a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm a pyro and don't know it. You never know. So we're going to use it just like we would paste or ink. Just put a little bit on your squeegee and then just squeegee over all of the clear parts of your stencil. Now, the best part about working with gel gloss is it does not dry as fast as paste. So you don't really have to panic um, about working super quick. Of course, I've been doing this for what are we working on now, ladies? Three years, three years, I think. Um, so I do work a little bit quicker than I probably should, plus being live. I don't know. I tend to go faster when I'm live just because I get nervous, I guess. I don't know. But all right. So basically, once you're fully covered, you got everything good and covered. All you're going to do is peel it back. I'm going to just kind of set this aside because I don't have the biggest workspace here. And then just like normal, you peel to reveal and it does, it does stretch a little bit. So because we didn't fuzz it, it gets kind of stretchy on that suede. So be careful when you're pulling it. You don't want it to be, especially being a brand new stencil, you don't want it to like be really weird. Um, but you just kind of peel and try not to stretch it too much. This one is extra sticky. Holy cows. First time I've used this one. I don't know. Maybe I should have fuzzed it. I mean, what fun would it be if I was live and didn't have one thing screw up, y'all? At least one. Hopefully I can use that again. I'm going to try to clean it afterwards and we'll find out. Hopefully I didn't stretch it too much. All right. So now we kind of have that off. Kind of hard to see. Maybe you can see it. But now I'm going to take this heat gun to it. Okay. And you don't have to take too much. Now, Magnolia Design Company does put out a heat gun, and it's a fantastic heat gun. But um, And I still have it, but I packed a lot of my stuff up, so I can't really find it right now. This just kind of sets the gel gloss, I guess you could say. It also dries it really quick, so we can move on. Almost there, guys. Almost there. That should be good. Look how cute that is. Doesn't that look nice? I love that heat tool. Yes, that's what I meant. The heat tool. Very cool, huh? So now we're going to put a ribbon on. Do I have it open? Where is it? Okay. Ribbon I also picked up at Dollar Tree. Surprise, surprise. But you can use anything. Now, Super cool, like denim. If you want to pull some denim from like some old jeans and put on there, that would look so nice. I use a lot of denim and lace on my hats when I make them. So I'm just going to pull a big chunk, long chunk off, chop it off. And I'm going to use a hole puncher where I want it to tie. And actually, because it says grateful for today, I'm thinking I'm going to put my hole punch kind of up here. Okay, up there. So kind of above where that F is, I'm just going to punch a hole and it probably won't go all the way through, but it'll go most of the way through. There we go. And then I'm going to have to take a scissors to kind of get the rest of it out. I just don't want any weird like material hanging. So yeah, like that. Now here's the tricky part or a trickier part. You kind of have to be able to think outside the box on this one. Um, so where it ties, the way it works is, see if I can show you on this one. 
So the way it ties is you have this piece here, then you have a shorter piece on one side, and then this piece is a longer one. It wraps around so that it can make a bow right there. So you can have one shorter piece, one longer seat. One longer piece. What about snap on buttons? Yes, that's a great idea too. That is a fantastic idea. And I actually thought about doing that. Um, but like I said, I'm a leather and lace kind of girl and I really like the idea of leather and lace. So that's what I went with. Um, so anyways, I'm just taking my ribbon, one shorter side, one longer side. I can always trim them up later. So not a big deal. And I'm folding it in half, not in half, but folding it. And then I'm going to put that folded end right here through my hole. Okay. I don't even know how much time I have. Am I doing good on time, guys? I don't even know. What time is it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I have plenty of time. How did that happen? Okay. So you have your hole like a little loop here and you're just going to pull those straps through like this. Okay. And pull it tight. Now the reason I did that first is because when I put on this and every day, I didn't want to have to cut into it, okay? So, now, question for you. Should I put it on the inside like this, where it says end every day when they open it up? Or should it go on the outside? Like that. What do you think? I kind of like it both ways. I am seriously torn. I don't really know. I don't really know. What do you think? Inside. She said inside. First one wins. It's going on the inside. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm actually going to kind of fuzz this one just a little bit on my clothes because I didn't bring my fuzzing towel, tacky towel. Um, just going to put it on my jeans here. There we go. Whatever works, right? And then... I'm just going to lay it out because that one was so sticky. I I don't think I've ever had a stencil be that sticky, which is good news for you because if you're buying it, you know it's going to be a nice, good, sticky stencil. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Gel gloss, just a little bit on the end. I'm going to go over our clear parts like that. There we go. Okay, make sure I got it good so it soaks up nice and good, and then peel it off. It's not as sticky, so maybe you should fuzz it. Man, okay, sticking it off to the side. Gonna grab that heat gun quick. Watch it come to life. I love that part. It's kind of like we have the, the what is it, the scorch. Sports pen, is that what we call it? The sports pen? Sports pen? Somebody correct me. We have one of those pyro little guns, and I bet that would work too. I haven't tried it, but it's probably a good idea. A little bit longer. There we go. Okay. Oop, where's my, see? Now when they open it up, Boom. How cool, huh? I like it. I like it. Okay, so basically we've already got this in place. Now all you really have to do now is do your wrap around and tie it tight. So you could do a whole lot more though with this. So I also have, I picked up like these super cute three-dimensional little butterflies if you want to accessorize it a little bit more. Um, like the little stickers. Now, I'm going to tell you that actually these stickers that you get from Dollar Tree will stick on their own. Like you don't need to add anything to it. Um, what is the gel gloss name? This is actually the brand of this is Master's Touch and it's actually called gel gloss. Master's Touch gel gloss. You can order it on Amazon. You can get it from Michaels. It doesn't have to be that brand. Any type of gel gloss works, okay? Um, I use gel gloss, like, if you ever go on Pinterest and you look at the different uses for gel gloss, you'll be blown away. There's lots. So these stickers actually will stick forever, but if you want to add something to make sure that they don't fall off, 
put a little, what is it, E6000? I have some, but we could kind of just, the sticker part of these are just amazing. And normally I wouldn't put stickers, just any kind of sticker on, but these are like three dimensional stickers. I feel like they have, they bring a whole new, like, see, see how cute that is? Oh, I'd love it. Or you could put like little flowers. Like I even have like some little tiny flowers. You can do anything. We can even take it a step further. Okay, let's take it a step further since we do have a little bit of time still. Um, do I have anything out? Let's have fun with it a little bit. So Dollar Tree also sells stamps. So how many people here have been stampers? Okay, did you ever stamp at all? I don't even know. But they have stamps. So what if you were giving this as a gift to someone and you went through and on some of these pages, you put like little stamp notes, like something super cute. Like this one says love. Let's just do a couple pages. So I just have regular ink and I have some stamps. Um, how about this one? It says, I love you. So we're just going to kind of press it down on the corner of the page. I'm just going to put a little, I love you stamp. How cute would that be? I would so love this gift. I don't know about you guys, but I would. I would be over the moon for something like this. Um, you could even write a nice little letter, put a little letter in the front page for someone. Or if it's a sketchbook for like your artist friends, you know, I'm an artist. I would totally use sketchbook. You know, you could do all kinds of different things. I think um, the flexibility with this project, um, being able to personalize it for super cheap and super easy makes it a good, easy project that you can do for anybody, right? So let's just kind of close it up. I'll show you how it works and then we'll, we can kind of trim it up. Really, that's all I got for y'all. Like, I'm not near as long as the other ladies are and I could have probably made two in this time, but all we're gonna do is take that long one, wrap it around and tie it off with a nice cute little bow right here. My nice little lace bow. And maybe trim up anything that I don't like. These are really long, so I'm going to trim this up. Obviously, we don't need them that long. So I'm going to trim those up a little bit just to make them look, you know, a little more presentable, a little cute. And then if you want to, you know, maybe add like a little pen in there, something like that. Cute little gift. Or for yourself. I always need something to take notes in. So my day job, I'm a real estate agent, so I'm constantly writing things down. Always need something like this. Now, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more about getting your stencils today because I feel like you don't understand how important and valuable it is to get these stencils today because, um, you know, you only get the, the stencils that if you are part of the craft club, the stencil you get is exclusive to you, to you. Can't get them any other time. The only way you can get it is if you're part of Craft Club. Unless it's 12 days of Christmas, day nine, then you can get all those stencils, right? Oh, Melanie, you're a realtor too. Very cool. Keeps us busy, right? Crazy year. Um, so get, get those stencils today because you can't get them again. And I feel like this one is perfect for this, an inspirational type journal. Be great for a day planner, maybe a scrapbook. Um, can go so many ways and it's very cheap and inexpensive fun anybody can do it that's the best part about these products anybody can use them right so I kind of feel bad like everybody else went for like a full hour but I really don't have anything else for you guys so I hope you enjoyed it um, and if you have any questions you can always find me on my page I don't really know if Magnolia wants me to like say anything about that so I'm not going to but you can find me somehow somebody will get you to me if you have questions about how to make this project and if you haven't signed up for craft club yet sign up now so that you get all the good stencils right um and of course buy those ones that you want today i have a feeling they're going to sell out really 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 quick okay bye y'all have a great day thanks for joining